Happy day eight. <laughs> oh my god, day eight. The door fell off and of course it has to happen right when we're switching landlords so I don't know who to call and this is like the third time it's happened so nice mushroom pizza during dinner tonight we are going to watch Gone Girl because I need um, to pick up tips on how to be a wife and I've heard it's a very good romance uh, movie that will instruct me how to, you know, have a successful marriage. I mean, they stay together in the end, right? But no spoiler, sorry. <laughs> with my video edits. Haha, <laughs> fooled you. I finally just finished editing yesterday's video, which means I'm officially caught up because then tomorrow morning I'll edit today's video. But it feels so good and now I feel like I can actually focus on my writing again. And I know that that's probably counterintuitive or backwards that I was spending more time doing this than doing my writing or worrying about catching up filming versus catching up writing but, but I just I love YouTube too and I felt I can catch up on my writing anytime but to have my videos be too far behind is just not enjoyable to watch so that's why I prioritize this ahead of that but tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day Okay, so I've been kind of keeping a secret and it's the reason that I've also been busy in the evenings because I've been preparing for this secret. Um, I think I'll tell you tomorrow because I don't want to get ahead of myself just in case it doesn't happen. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't happen, but I don't know. Whenever I get something really exciting that happens or some really good news, I'm so afraid it's going to be taken away. That's really like morbid to say, but I just... I'm so excited to share with you guys after it happens. <laughs> and I'm also going to the hair salon tomorrow because I used to have red hair um, all throughout college. And most of my friends in college know me as a redhead. So I, I just, I really missed it. I first started dyeing my hair red in high school. Not like ginger red, but just red enough that you can tell it has red tints. Naturally, I have zero red tints in my hair. What you saw last year the brown that was my natural color i was growing it out for the first time since junior year of high school and now it's like a blonde which is lovely and i spent a lot of money making a blonde but i just missed the red i i thought i wouldn't miss it this much but i love having red hair in the winter time so going back to strawberry so now that i finish editing my videos i am going to go to bed and i'm going to continue reading my first draft in bed. Hopefully I can put in a good hour tonight so then I will have a better word count update at the end of this clip. You know better than I do because I don't know what it is yet. And then tomorrow is the exciting thing and basically a crazy catch-up day. I'm excited. I've felt horrible this week one. I mean some things were outside my control, but really, you know, you, I, I hate making excuses. I really do. And so I try not to because truly you prioritize your day and I could have been working a lot more than I did towards my novel and I simply didn't. And one thing I have definitely failed at this year was sitting down and I even mentioned it in my tips video. But just sitting down and creating an actual plan of when I'm going to be working on my story, what I'm going to be doing every day. I've written that I need to do character profiles. I talked about it in yesterday's video and I have not done that yet. So maybe that's what I should do tomorrow morning um, 
after I get everything I need to be, I need to get done done, sit down, write down all my main characters, and really write an in-depth profile. I think I'm actually going to do that because I know it's a necessity, and I know I need to work on that. Um, so I will bring you guys along with that journey. I'll show you what it is I am doing, and hopefully it will help you guys. And if not, at least maybe give me some tips <laughs> so that I can improve that. Um, I watched some really great videos on character profile building and I'll link those below so you guys can check them out. It is now midnight. It's now officially tomorrow. I guess I better go to work. No, I better go to bed too. I gotta get up early. Not really that early, but I get to sleep in a little bit. I do this a lot. I realize <laughs> lately, I don't know why. So when I think I'm being cute. And also I just want to say thank you to everyone who's reached out about my brother. Update, he is doing perfectly well. Um, he's still at home, I believe, recovering, but he can bear weight on his leg. He has crutches, but he's doing perfectly fine. My mom, I think, is secretly really enjoying taking care of him again because <laughs> he lives really close by. They live like on the same road. So she's been going to his house every night, cooking him dinner just being such a good little mama and so he is recovering well and he shouldn't have too many um, setbacks from it so if you want to know what happened it's really gruesome he he's had problems with his knee before where the knee actually gets dislocated I think it was it would come out of socket and it happened again um, it hasn't happened in like 10 years less Ten years ago, he had surgery for it. They kind of put it back in, but they said it could happen again because it wasn't a permanent fix. And it did happen again. And when it happened, the meniscus, I might be saying that wrong, <laughs> um, when it went out of socket, it flipped under the knee joint. And so it was flipped and swollen. And basically what they had to do was that piece that flipped, they had to just cut it out. And so he's actually missing some um of that meniscus in his knee and they said that it could potentially lead to arthritis later on but other than that he should make a full recovery and it's really gross i saw pictures of it because i can't help myself and i'm just one of those people if they say you want to see a picture i'm like okay and it was nasty but i'm gonna save you from that <laughs> i don't want to think about that right before i'm about to go to bed so good night I'm going to read my story, and then I'm going to go to bed. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>